Hello everyone. What I have here, well what I have is a big mess. Um, I'm transplanting my brassicas today. I have broccoli, Brussels sprouts, some cabbages, and I also have some eggplant that I'm going to try to get transplanted out. Um, now I'm moving on from the seed starting trays into these little four inch peat pots. I have seen where some people will take a spray bottle and moisten down the peat, mo uh, peat pots before they do their transplants and that seems like a really good idea to me. However, today it is rainy and stormy um, so I'm doing this inside at my dining room table so I'm going to try to make this as less messy as I can. Uh, so I'm not going to spray them today. I'm going to keep them dry and I'm just going to water them in when I'm finished. Um, anyway, let's get started on transplanting. Right now I've got the cat skill Brussels sprouts and I just take an empty peat pot. This is the four inch ones. And I start out by filling it about half full of your potting soil. And then my handy dandy shovel or spade, kitchen spoon. I just wallow a little hole in there. And then I use the same spoon. Now I like to give these a chance to dry out. They seem to be easier to transplant when they're dry. Now these are still a little moist. for my liking, but this is the way I'm doing it today because I don't have time to let them dry out. Some of these are a little drier than others and my soil is just falling apart. Anyway, I take him and some of his original soil and drop him down in the little hole. Put some of that soil around to help support him. And then I just hold him between two fingers and use two fingers to support the cup. I take my scoop and overfill the little pot with more soil. Okay, and then I just put him up and I use Ray's advice before transplanting. I uh, use my fingertips. Ray says to use eyelid pressure. So just press your eyelid and when it feels uncomfortable that's about how much pressure you use to pack these. It's not a whole lot of pressure. And I just pack the soil around the little guy to give him some support. I didn't quite get him centered in the cup this time. And what I like to do is leave it flat on the top or in the center. Then on the edges I like to pack it just a little more to create a little well on the edges. My theory is even though you want water in the center too, I like for it, the majority of the water to go on the edges and encourage those roots to spread out to find the water. I don't know if it actually works that way but it's my theory and that's the way I do it. So let's do one more of these fellas. Now this one I've already got my soil, half soil in. So I'll just create my little hole. Then I'll just drop my little guy in the center of it with some of his original soil. Put a little dirt around him. Support the guy. And fill the cup up with soil. Now I planted, or I tried to put two seeds in each cell when I started these. A couple of them, three seeds dropped in. So a few of these had three sprouts that I had to divide up. And as you can see, I've already done a few of these. I planted, I tried to plant about 24 seeds 
Uh, of course, not all of them sprouted. Some of them had a few extras in there. And some of them weren't as strong as others. So I took the bigger, stronger, better quality seedlings and disposed of some of the ones that wasn't quite as strong and healthy. Chose the best plants. And it looks like I'm going to end up with about 21 of these. 21, 22. What do we got? 20, yeah, 21 plants. Um, that's going to be plenty for my garden. And I think I might have a couple extra. And I'll probably start maybe 12 more. That way I have a few more to play with. Uh, I got replacement plants, and I'm also hoping to do some trading this summer for some other things. But anyway, now that they are transplanted, I give them a little water to water them in. Now I've already watered all these in. I try to do about four at a time so that they're not sitting dry very long. That one's got a little bit too much soil, and I knock this little guy over, stand him back up. Let's okay. finish watering these guys in. There we go, and that completes my Brussels sprouts. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to transplant some cabbages. Some golden acre cabbage. And I'll show you a couple of those. Well, my youngest daughter, Jessie, has joined us. And We are now transplanting some golden acre cabbage and uh, Jesse's doing the wonderful job at labeling our pots. What are you writing on those things? I am writing the date we planted them and then the date we transplanted them. Ah, you're writing the plant on there too? Yeah, we're writing the plant on there too. All right. Lord forbid, I wouldn't know the difference between a cabbage and a Brussels sprout. <laughs> they look a lot alike. You got those all labeled up for me? Yeah. And I'm just doing these the same way I did the uh, Brussels sprouts. I'm just putting a hole, <clears throat> hole in the soil and dropping them in and putting the new soil on top of them and trying to center them. I'm not doing real good at that. But pressing them in. And after this we've got some Red Express cabbage to transplant. We've got a bunch of broccoli to transplant. And what else we got? Eggplant? I might let those eggplant grow a little more. These two are pretty close together. I'm just going to gently let the soil fall away. Uh, divide them up. Okay. Uh, I start at the edge and work to the center.
Alright, so we're done transplanting for today. We ended up transplanting and plan on keeping 19 um, cabbage plants, Golden Acre. We have 17 broccolis. Eighteen Brussels sprouts, and then over here I've got twelve snowball cauliflower and six self blanching cauliflower. And then over here I have some onions that I'm hoping I won't have to transplant. And then over there I still have the Red Express cabbage and all my eggplants that I've decided to wait and let them grow just a little bit more. And then down in the floor down here I have some more Brussels sprouts and cabbage that I really don't have room for up on the shelf. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. But that is our transplanting for today. watching. I hope you've enjoyed our transplanting and our special little guest on today's show. Until we speak again, keep growing. <laughs>